Hey everybody, this is Michael Gatewood, and I've got a quick lesson for you. Mediocre shot on a school photograph, but one common situation that happens is that there's just not enough backdrop to uh, go in for the image itself. And I want to show you what I would consider a very, very quick fix on being able to do this. First of all, go ahead and take a look at your layers and unlock your layer so that it says layer zero. Don't worry about renaming it. We're trying to work fast. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a layer. Now this layer is over the top of the image so let's go ahead and get the eyedropper tool. Now go in there and take a look at a part of the image and go ahead and click on a part of the background to get a color that you feel is adequate to work with and then at that point what we're going to want to do is we're wanting to go in there and kind of create a little bit more of a muddled look as well so what we're going to do is we're simply going to go in here and flip this over and go back to the eyedropper tool and maybe get a darker gray okay now we have this darker gray so what I'm going to do is simply go in here and let's go filter let's go with um, Which one am I going to go with on this one? Probably clouds. Sorry, it took me a moment to think about it. Now what we've got is we have clouds, but it's not the kind of look that we're going to go with. It is kind of I don't know, it's just not right. So let's go in here and let's go into Blur and let's go into Gaussian Blur and really throw a blur into the mix. And that is about what we're looking for, something like this. Let's go ahead and let's click OK. And now let's drop this down below. Now I know it seems kind of weird, but we're going to put the muddled background that we created in the back well behind us now what we're going to do is go back to the top image of the classroom and what we're going to do is we're going to add a mask and if you need to know more about masks take a look at a couple of my other lessons regarding masking but white reveals black conceals white reveals black conceals so let's just go in there with the opposite color paintbrush and just start painting that in there we go and we're just going to kind of bring that in there just a little bit all the way around on this side and right in here on this side and that is going to get us a little more coverage in that area just like what we were hoping for now the key to making it look like the texture that we have in here is real important. What we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're still going to grab some areas of cloning to kind of drop in there, but we're using this large area that we've dropped in to kind of help fill in the gaps a little bit. So here, let me show, give you an idea of what we're talking about. Let's go in here and let's go with the clone stamp. Let's set this to all layers and let's make sure we're not going to be cloning out of a mask and let's go in here and create a new layer. Now remember we've got three separate layers now. This real quick little effect that we dropped into the background. We have our image itself and we have this top image or this top layer. So let's hold down the Alt key, click and sample a little bit of our backdrop and all we're doing is we're kind of coming in here holding down the Alt key and clicking and just kind of dropping a little bit of our texture where we need it to give it that look without worrying about hitting or getting every single area. Let's see if we can get this in here there we go whoops we don't want to catch a foot in this mix that's the sad part a lot of times we're we're working without enough area 
and we've got to watch out for that repeating pattern that we're always trying to avoid and let's go a little smaller trying to get what we're looking for there we go and uh, what I'm doing is just simply going in here and trying to get a little bit of texture into the mix, a little bit of a mix between what we had created and that background. You get the rough idea. That's all we're doing. We're just going in and kind of filling in a couple little small gaps of our background. Now, we're still not finished. We can go ahead and merge all these together. In fact, if we go in here and go layer and merge visible, they'll all be one image. Now, we're like I said, we're trying to do this quickly, but what we've got is we've got an opportunity now to kind of vignette this. So it'll kind of disguise the blotchiness that we still have in there. So what I'm going to do is simply go in here and go with an adjustment layer and we'll go with, well, we can go with levels or curves. And all we're going to do is kind of darken things up a bit, just like this, and maybe just like this. Now, don't be confused about this. What we've got here is we have a mask. In fact, if we click on the mask, we can invert it. Now, the only thing I'm going to do is just take a paintbrush a white one, white reveals, black conceals, and we're literally just kind of coming in around the edge of this image to kind of create that rough vignette in our graphic to kind of hide that little bit of blotchiness that we had previously. Now there's still a little bit more work that we can deal with to be able to make sure that that's hidden even more. Remember that all we have to do at any time is go in there and add a layer if we need to. And we can go in there and start taking a look at maybe some of the little effects to kind of blotch out a couple of the areas that we need to blotch out. There we go. And all we're doing is kind of coming in and getting rid of some of the background very quickly. Now remember, we don't really have enough of this to clone without creating a repeating pattern. But now what we have is we have something that can go in there and be given to a client or whatever. A little weak on the photograph is just when we grabbed, and obviously they're not all posed correctly. But I will say this, that this has given us that nice vignette and filled in on the fact that we don't have enough background and we were able to create more by actually creating a muddled color and bringing that in and then cloning in some texture to make sure that we have what we're looking for. Everyone, this is just a quick little fix on not having enough background and having to create more background to uh, finish off an image. My name is Michael Gatewood. Thanks for watching.